Hello and welcome to Enjoy SharePoint YouTube channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft SharePoint MVP. And in this video, we'll see one Microsoft Flow example, uh, which is based on a template, send a customized email when a new SharePoint list item is added. So in this example, in this Microsoft Flow example, we'll see uh, how, we, how we can send one email whenever someone insert an item to a SharePoint list. So let me uh, let me open my SharePoint uh, uh, site. So this is the SharePoint site. You can see here I have a company announcement list and we'll use that template for this particular list. If you have not started Flow yet, I have uh, recorded one more video uh, in our last video, which I showed you what is Microsoft Flow and all these details. And we also saw an example over there as well. One approval example, we have already seen that. So you can go through that. I will put uh, the URL in the comment section of the video. Now, if you'll see here, uh, we'll start creating the flow. So I'll go to flow.microsoft.com. And uh, then what we'll do is, so if you have not signed in, then uh, it will ask you to sign in uh, to, to your uh, um, Microsoft Flow account. And uh, now if you'll see here, there is a template. So click on that templates. And here's just search on SharePoint. So I'll search on SharePoint. And if you'll see here, there is a, this is the template that I was talking about. Send a customized email when a new uh, SharePoint list item is added. Click on that. And then if you'll see here, uh, this is the template uh, that it is opening. And next thing what it is asking is uh, the SharePoint site URL. So let me just put the site URL. So I'll copy this URL and uh, then it will uh, populate the list name. So we'll use the company uh, announcement list. So let me take the company announcement. I'll go here, I'll put this. I'll remove this space, then click on create flow. So if you'll we'll see here now, if the list is uh, not coming, then uh, you can uh, add the custom value and you can give the list name as well if it is not appearing there. So if you'll we'll see here, this is the uh, flow that has been created and this is the connection that it has been already made. So click on this edit and it will open uh, the edit box you can see here this is our flow so you can see both the things will be there site url and then uh, the company announcement then it will uh, retrieve the flow um, uh, their uh, uh, profile details so name and the email and uh, now this is the send email so if you will see here so two uh, is the email so you, you either you can take it from here or if you click on that then from here you can also take to whom you want to send this so suppose i i, I we want to send it to the uh, person who created the item so click on created by email you can see here it is coming and uh, uh, you can change the subject suppose i'll say uh, thanks for the announcement and then if you'll see here the body you can see uh, you can take the given name and then a new item is added so these things are there either you can use this way or you know if, when you click on this uh, put the cursor you will be able to see all the details here so not only uh, your profile details you can also see the current uh, item details you can see here all other uh, details also you'll be able to see it here title and uh, announcement everything you'll be able to see it here title body uh, of that announcement all these things you'll be able to see here so now this is how your uh, flow uh, will will trigger an email so now let's save this so the flow has been saved now so come back to here so this is the flow that has been already uh, we edited and saved it so now let's go and add one item to it so i'll say new item and on this we will say new announcements and uh, i'll put the same i'll just edit it and we'll put the body as the same thing so just put it and uh, then you can just save it and then the expiry date so i'll put the date time so probably tomorrow i'll 
R219 and then click on save. So once I click on save, so ideally I should now see the email. So let me open my email now. So if you'll see here, I'll just open my Outlook. So I'd, I, I should be able to see that email. And uh, meanwhile, also you can see the flow. So if I'll refresh this, I should be able to see uh, the flow which is in progress. So you can see here it is already uh, uh, succeeded. The flow is already succeeded, and this is the history that you can see. And uh, if I'll open my email now, so you can see here uh, we said this. Thanks for the announcements. So you can see uh, thanks for announcement, and the name is coming. And uh, next, if you'll see here, there is a announcement added by this and the details. So they're putting the title uh, in, in that. So you can also customize this email. I showed you how we can do that. So hopefully you will like this uh, uh, flow video. And uh, um, we saw how we can use send a customized email when a new SharePoint list item is added. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of notifications on uh, various videos that we usually uh, we usually upload related to SharePoint Office 365, uh, Flow, Power Apps, Power BI, all all these things. So hopefully uh, uh, you will you will uh, you like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.